Now you know how to make straight duct sections and join them together. However, HVAC duct systems have elbows, transitions, offsets, and other fittings to convey the air to other room outlets. These fittings are easily made utilizing the modular duct construction method. Modular duct construction takes advantage of the finished 48-inch duct sections and makes installation easier by allowing you to fabricate fittings from closed duct sections at the time of duct installation. You will find that the use of modular duct construction enhances productivity by minimizing the number of circumferential joints and simplifying the fabrication of fittings. In addition, the quality of the installation job will be improved. The concept requires that the ducts be installed with the female end of the duct pointing away from the air handling unit. We use shiplap grooving to form the duct because those fittings that require the removal of part of a panel, like elbows, tees, or branch tabs, will end up with a shiplap duct connection. The result is not only a stronger connection, but a better looking fitting and one that is easier to seal with the approved closure system. With minor exceptions, elbows and tees are designed to be throatless and require the use of turning vanes. You will also see that we take full advantage of the 48-inch duct section to extend the slope of the transitions for better airflow. When we get to the fitting fabrication, you will see how the shiplap grooving makes elbows, tees, offsets, transitions, end caps, and branch tabs easier to fabricate and how the shiplap duct connection is maintained throughout the whole duct system. Before we get started demonstrating fitting fabrication, let's review a few important fabrication tips. You will hear the demonstrators talk about using tape tabs. There are times that you will make a fitting that may not have a stapling flap. At these times, it is imperative to use tape tabs at the seams and joints. Tape tabs are made from 8-inch lengths of the closure tape and are equally spaced on either side of the joint on 12-inch centers. You need at least one tab per side. You will need a good knife for fabrication of fittings. We recommend the Murphy Green Handled Shoe Knife. Take a few minutes to grind a radius edge on the back side of the knife. You will see why that radius edge is helpful. For fittings that have a tap-out panel, you need to maintain the shiplap edge. Therefore, make sure that the panel that is marked as the tap-out panel has a butt edge and not a shiplap edge. One of the best ways to demonstrate the modular duct construction concept is to begin with a 90-degree elbow fabricated from a finished section of duct.